Since 2013, Halibration has celebrated the holidays with a focus on black-owned businesses. As reporter Brian Maines explains, this weekend the event will still celebrate its eighth year, but of course not in its usual way. The event chair and co-founder Kathy Lewis Norman began discussing plans for the eighth annual Halibration in June. The prospect of holding the holiday bazaar this weekend looked bleak. We weren't sure we could do it at all. Last year, the two-day event held inside New Vision United Methodist Church in Paddock Hills featured 65 local black-owned businesses and attracted 1,700 visitors, a gathering much too big to host during the coronavirus pandemic this year. So we contacted our vendors, asked them, you know, were they able to do business virtually? This Friday and Saturday, 25 vendors who participated in last year's event will be selling their wares through a website created for Halibration. That includes Shante Barker, owner and designer of Stylish Lenice Boutique. Being able to be a part of her event this year, even though it is virtual, it is allowing for me, a, a newer business, to get a lot of great exposure. Barker opened her brick and mortar store in Madisonville shortly before last year's Halibration. She launched Stylish Lenice two years ago as an online only store after moving back to Cincinnati from New York, where she lived for 15 years. Being able to be a woman and a black owned business and come back and really, you know, shine and be able to be a part of the community has been very important to me. Longtime event sponsor, the African American Chamber of Commerce helped other Halibration vendors build websites, social media pages, and conduct online sales. Other virtual event vendors will sell food, crafts, and there will be live online entertainment. We have a full lineup on Friday and Saturday of entertainment fun. The only in-person event that we're doing is on the Saturday, December 12th. That event is a drive through visit with Santa and toy pickup for children in New Vision Church's parking lot from noon until 1 p.m. Saturday. We've always had our Santa and the toys. For more information about Halibration, visit WCPO.com. I'm Brian Maines for WCPO 9 News.